what's the typical percentage of profitable customers? Any, any statistics for their trades? Ah, well, uh, it's all apocryphal as far as I know. I mean, I think there have been some um, studies done about, uh, about this. Um, I'm not 100% sure whether it's for the futures industry or which, or which part of the sort of... Let's call, OK, we, it's, it's, it's derivatives and it's leveraged. And as far as I'm aware, it's kind of... I think there's a sort of 20% of, uh, of, of, of people make money. I think that's the figure. I, uh, I honestly don't know. Because, you know, without knowing how these uh, things are measured, I, I, it's very difficult. I mean, over what period of time? I mean, there have been times when I've traded and I've been incredibly profitable, you know, for month after month after month. And then suddenly I'm losing every month. Um, how do I get added into the mix there? Am I an overall winner? Because, because ultimately, after, the, after what, five years, I have more in my trading account than I did when I started. Where do I go? Am I in the 20% or have I been counted? I, see, I don't know the methodology that's been used on, the, on, on this. Um, I really don't. And, you know, you, you can also look at, you know, people who come in and, and, and trade in retail, retail derivatives and spread betting, CFTs, they're coming for a host of different reasons. Um, I mean, I suppose there's one common one and that is to make money and that's what it's all about. But, you know, the, the, they're you know, they might be trading a range of different products for different reasons. I just don't know is the honest answer. I don't know what the statistics are and I don't really know how you measure them um, or, or, or who, who's, whose prices, whose statistics and whose customers you're going to take as a measure. And what about statistics for their trades? <clears throat> In terms of? Uh, probably quantity, amounts, standard. Oh, so trade <coughs> size? <coughs> yeah. Um, well, the sort of stuff they trade, the statistics for their trades. Oh, OK. Um, yeah, I mean, the kind, the, you know, the most popular markets, certainly in the UK, um, tend to be the stock indices, and that would be, uh, be the FTSE, the DAX, and the Dow. Uh, those are the, the, the three most popular indices. Um, in then you know FX is is very common and it tends to be the bigger pairs and the, and the sterling based pairs. So we're looking at the um, uh, euro dollar as the main one, which of course is sort of like the major currency pair worldwide. But uh, cable, so that sterling dollar is very popular. Uh, euro sterling or sterling euro, that's another popular market. Um, those those are going to be the top ones. Um, and then you know always always you're going to have interest in gold and oil and then, to a lesser extent, silver. I mean, those, those are the popular markets.